Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Lizzie Baker and I am a body painter from Newcastle, New South Wales. Um, if you've clicked onto this video, it's because you wanted to see my entry for the NYX Face Forwards 2018. I've entered this year again because last year, unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties with my camera, um, I had to drop out, which was really, really heartbreaking for me. But I am back, baby. I am back for round two, year two of the NYX Face Awards 2018 and I'm so excited and I'm so glad that you clicked onto this video. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. To start off with, grab any light coloured lip liner or eyeliner and sketch out the bones and the rib cage. I did mine in a skin colour and it was really hard to tell which parts to paint solid and which parts were going to be the background. So I drew little lines on the bones so I knew later when filling them in. Using a reference picture for the bones was the best and easiest way to sketch out the realism that I wanted to capture in my look. Uh, you can always just go with your natural bone structure and feel where your bones are and go from there. Now guys, my eyes are so terrible, so I had to switch out to a darker liner. It was easier for me to see what I was doing. For the skull, I just felt where my actual eye socket was and I drew around it. I went back to the reference picture to create the rest of the skull with the cheekbones and the jawline. It's really your choice on teeth placement, but I wanted my character to be missing a few. And just doing the same technique by filling in the darker hollows with the lines so I know where to fill in the black later. Mixing together white, yellow, brown and cream body paint, I created a bone-like colour and started filling in the bones on the chest and the face. Mixing in more brown to create a deeper bone colour, use this to paint where the bones would cast a shadow. For me, it's in between the spine bones, the curve in the rib cage, the open holes in the jaw, nose, and where the forehead would collapse backwards. You can choose to paint the eye sockets now, I just do mine later. With a similar colour eyeshadow to the brown body paint we just used, start to add shading to the bones, wherever the bones would cast a shadow. The lower jawline, the curves in the forehead, in between each tooth. Follow this step on all bones. If you run into a bit of trouble shading, revert back to a reference photo for help. Repeat this step with a smaller brush and a darker brown to start a nice gradient effect and create the illusion of shadow. Okay, so now it's time to fill some more of the face in. Taking a medium brown body paint, fill in the hollows of the skull. So the eyes, near the ear and in between the teeth and the bottom jawbone. To start shading the eyes, take any black shadow and carefully fill in the hollows, also taking the same shadow over the parts where the bones would overlap.
the separation of the skin and the skeleton, I'm going to paint a skin tone body paint around the sketch. And to separate even more, I'm going to take a red eyeshadow and a small dome flat brush to create an irritation to the skin, leaving about a mill between where the skin starts and where I'm shading. This will be where our highlight gets placed later. Okay, so start to fill in all the black using a small dome flat brush and black body paint. So to create the teeth, paint white, oblong or rectangle shapes, making one end a little distorted. Using the same black and brown eyeshadows, create the same gradient effect around each tooth. Taking a yellow body paint and a fine artist brush, fill in each end of the teeth where the teeth meet the gum line. This will add aging and discoloration. Do this same step with a light brown body paint as well. To create some more aging in the teeth, I wanted to create some ridges. So with the light brown body paint and a fine artist brush, create small brush strokes from the top of the teeth to the bottom. To define the teeth a little bit more, take that same fine artist brush and a black body paint and just outline the base of every tooth. Now to begin to highlight using a white body paint and the fine artist brush, paint around the edges of where light would hit the teeth. So the sockets at the bottom, the jawline, the cheekbones and any opposite side to where we casted our shadows throughout the look.
add some more aging to my skeleton, I started adding cracks and fractures by lightly painting awkward squiggly lines. I also decided to add a hole on my forehead. Once you're happy with the way your cracks look, go over the cracks with a tiny amount of black body paint. And while you're at it, you might as well multitask. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a phone call by the phone company then because I was upgrading my phone. Whoops. So once you're done on the telephone call, <laughs> you can shade around each crack with a light brown eyeshadow just to create a bit more dimension. Alrighty guys, well we're almost done, but I just wanted to add some finishing touches to my design with some blood drips. These are literally my favourite thing to paint. And there it is guys, you're done. I just wanna thank everyone for clicking on this video and watching it to the end. I really love the support and it only wants, makes me wanna push myself even further. Um, I'm so excited to be back this year entering for the second year of the Nick's Face Awards Australia and I so hope to see you guys in the top 30. Bye.